Hello! I was thinking about gentleness today and I thought of the grass in the summer. I love how on a warm summer day you can lay in the grass and it will gently tickle you and the sun will gently warm you up. So here I am surrounded by grass. Then I wondered what the Bible tells us about gentleness. So I found some verses and I learned a few things I wanted to share with you. For some reason, everything I learned had to do with the letter P. Check it out. First of all, you need to be prepared. The Bible says in your hearts, revere Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope you have. But do this with gentleness and respect. So basically, if you get the chance to tell people about God, don't be angry or harsh about it. Tell them the good news of Jesus with a gentle response, not judgy or mean-spirited or even sarcastic, and be prepared to do so. So another thing I learned about gentleness is you've got to put it on. We've been talking about being clothed in different traits and different virtues, and gentleness is one of them. The Bible says, therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. It's something we're supposed to put on when we get dressed, when we start our day. That could even mean be careful not to be cranky with people even first thing in the morning. And if someone is having trouble waking up in the morning, be gentle when you wake them up. Hmm? What do you think about that? So clothe yourselves with gentleness by putting it on first thing. Now, know that when you put gentleness on, it's appealing. By the humility and gentleness of Christ, I appeal to you. That's what Paul says in 2 Corinthians. Christ was humble and he was gentle. And with that same humility and gentleness, we can tell others about God's love. And they will be drawn to God because God's love is appealing. But you can't just be prepared or put it on, call it appealing, and go throughout your day. You need to p -p -p practice it. And as you do, remember, gentleness isn't against the law. So Galatians 5, and 23 says, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. So being gentle with your actions or your words isn't against the law, but we do need to practice it. It doesn't just happen on its own. When my kids were little, they wanted to hold a younger sibling or a baby. I would practice with them and I would caress their cheek and I'd say, gentle, gentle. <laughs> Then, when they held the baby, they would caress the baby's cheek and say, gentle, gentle, too. It was something we practiced, so they were prepared when the time came. Love and gentleness is something we need to practice, so practice it. The Bible also says to pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, and gentleness. We are supposed to pursue or chase after gentleness. Don't let opportunities to be gentle with others pass you by. Pursue it. And lastly, present it to others. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. That's what the Bible says in Philippians 4 verse 5. It takes courage to be gentle with our conversations. It takes courage to be gentle with our actions. But when we do, when we are kind with our words or actions, when we are gentle in our thoughts and in our deeds, it shows God's nearness. 
So present it to others with love. So to sum it all up, when you think about gentleness, be prepared. Put it on. Remember, gentleness is appealing. Practice it, pursue it, and present it to others. For when we seek to be gentle, it is like a pleasing smell to God. For gentleness is another way to show God's love. So like Christ, let's walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us. Because as we do this, we can be a fragrant offering and a sacrifice to God. Our gentleness can be like a pleasing smell that draws others nearer to God. So be gentle in everything you do. And above all, put on love. Have a great day. Bye!